What's going on, everybody? Howdy, y'all. Let me tell you about my weekend in Nashville. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of What's That TMI, where we tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the fucking truth. I'm so excited to tell you guys about this weekend. I also don't really have a voice because I'm just constantly sick now. So it sounds like, you know, I've had some things in my mouth that shouldn't be. Okay. (laughs) Okay. No, or it just sounds like you're sick, Sadie. Why do I have to fucking be disgusting? No, literally though, I'm telling you guys, I need to like chill the fuck out because after being insanely sick, like after the little country concert I went to and now I'm sick again, I'm like, I really need to calm the fuck down. And I'm literally supposed to drive five hours to Alabama tomorrow, but that's absolutely not happening. Anyways, we're going to start the fucking episode. I don't know why I'm talking about my life. Like it's important. Guys, welcome back to another episode of Was That TMI? I'm so excited to tell you about my birthday weekend. I don't, oh yeah, I have made an episode actually about my 18th birthday where I got literally put in the back of a fucking cop car. Welcome to my nasty 19, my nasty 19 birthday weekend that I had in fucking Nashville. Nasty Nashville 19. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Perfect. Absolutely. That should have went on a shirt. I'm stupid. Damn it. By the way, guys, if you bought the merch, thank you so much. Literally, the birthday merch was so fucking cute. Like, all my friends were like, that's the cutest... My friends. Literally, my two friends were like, that's the cutest fucking merch you've ever made. And they loved it and everyone else did so it really really made me happy and it made me feel special because I designed it so thanks everyone that bought that um it was only available on my birthday so if you didn't snag it up I might be releasing the designs again on other things I'm not sure because everyone really liked them but we'll see Anyways, guys, so my weekend in Nashville, my birthday, you know, my birthday, Chad, Chad had to come out. I was in Nashville for about four days and three nights and Chad was there for about 72 hours of it. By the way, let me explain Chad really quick for those that don't know. So back in high school, when I would play beer pong or we can say water pong, mom, when I would play water pong in my friend's basement, I would wear Chad shorts because we always were like, we're fucking dudes. Like instead of going out and hanging out with like the regular kids in our high school and going to the parties we sit in the basement and listen to country music and play fucking water pong anyways i would always wear long shorts like my brother's like nike shorts that are like sweat shorts um and they're long so fucking comfy by the way honestly i'm gonna start selling them because i love them so much but i would always wear them and we would like call drunk me chad like it would always be like oh chad like chad's here and i posted that in like 2020 and literally it's been an ongoing joke ever since so like whenever there's a picture or video of me looking absolutely sloshed people are like holy fuck chad like go to bed i fucking love it it's so fun but that's what i say when i say chad i just wanted to explain that really quickly because for those that don't know like one of the guys was going live that i was with over the weekend and he was like they keep on saying where's chad and i'm like oh my god <laughs> it's funny as shit anyways though nashville you guys are probably like what the fuck why are we even in nashville so basically my birthday's august 21st it's hard because literally that's when everyone goes back to school and i've never really given a shit about my birthday like i would never in my life put on a fucking birthday sash and go out you know what i mean if you do that nothing against you i just like don't like that attention it like freaks me out so i don't really like to flaunt like oh it's my birthday i literally use my birthday as an excuse to be the drunkest one in the room <laughs> Like, I just like to use it as an excuse of, like, oh, it's my birthday. Like, I'm allowed. It doesn't fucking matter. Or, like, to guilt trip people and be like, dude, come on. You're coming with us. It's my birthday. That's really it, though. But I always like to do at least a little something. And it's hard because literally the 21st of August, at least, like, in the South, everyone's back in school. And it's, like, the beginning, too. So everyone's getting busy and has, like, their schedules and shit. None of my friends could really do anything. Like I said, my two friends. Rylan has been, like, doing her whole thing at Florida State, you know, doing all that. And then McKinley, she's up in Athens. Athens and yeah those are my only friends so that's cool if you listen to the last episode you know that I've befriended some TikTok kids lately and they're awesome they're really really fun and cool and like they get rowdy so they were in Texas and I've like kept in touch because I literally was at this like concert thing with them two three weekends ago now not that long ago so of course I've like kept in touch with them they were all saying like oh Nashville this weekend like we're gonna go to Nashville the weekend of the 21st and I'm like that's my birthday like I'm definitely will go so 
I had been planning to go, but I didn't really have a plan. Like, you know, when you're trying to fucking plan shit with guys, you never know what the fuck's gonna go down. Like, I could drive all the way up there and, like, you never know. They could be like, oh, we didn't even go to Nashville. Sorry, we forgot to tell you. Like, you just never fucking know with guys. And so I kind of just, like, revolved my birthday around going to Nashville, but I wasn't sure what was gonna go on. I also always make it in my schedule to, like, get my hair done, like, right before my birthday. Just because I'm extra like that. Well, I get my hair done in Atlanta. So I was like, this is perfect because I was getting my hair done Thursday. My birthday birthday was on Sunday but like Saturday night would turn my birthday but I was like that's perfect because I'll go to Atlanta on Thursday and get my hair done and then I'll drive up to Nashville on Friday and be there for the weekend so that's exactly what I did by the way I think I've plugged them before on here salty mane lacy mane if you go on my Instagram I have a hair highlight at Sadie Crowell on Instagram and they are who do my hair they literally fucking kill it like that's the only place I will ever go I drive all the way to Atlanta to see them they're amazing so definitely go check them out if you get your hair colored or even cut they're literally awesome I'm heading up to Nashville. You know, I don't know what the fuck to expect. I don't know what's going on. I just know that basically the same group of people that were at the concert in Alabama with me are going to be there as well. So I drive my little happy ass up there and I get there on Friday, like midday. I met some of the boys. We like went out to eat and then we went back to this Airbnb that they were all staying in. I don't even know what I did. I think I literally just walked in there, said hi to everyone, set my bags down. I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm just going to address the elephant in the room. If you've been watching me since 20 2020 when I literally first started like gaining anything or any sort of following my first little crush online I spoke publicly on this was Taylor Holder <laughs> like I literally used to like fucking be obsessed with him like I'd make TikToks about him and be like he's so fucking hot holy shit I'm also like 16 at the time so no shit like there's gonna be no fucking response but you know, it was the time when like everyone just was obsessed with like those little group of TikTok boys well he was there so it's like I'm praying that he is no idea who I am and then he doesn't know about the situation and then I'm also like it was two fucking years ago so I don't really care even if he does I wound up literally just telling him I was like look dude if you see anything or any comments about how I was obsessed with you like I used to be obsessed with you two years ago I publicly would speak about it and yeah I'm that's fucking awkward but whatever he didn't really care though he was actually really nice and it was funny when I told him but I was with him and it was like ironic and funny because that all happened but like I said I get to the house in Nashville that night there was like bull riding going on or something Thing and Caden McGuire. He's actually the one who invited me and my friend to the place in Alabama. He was um there and he was like, yo, Sadie, I'm going to watch bull riding. Do you want to come? And I'm like, yeah, sure. Like, I, you know, I literally would rather do anything than like just like sit around. Like, I'm definitely a go, go, goer. I've come to realize that. Like, especially if I'm on vacation somewhere. It wasn't really vacation, but to me, I kind of saw it that way. But like, if I'm somewhere not home, I love to just like explore. Like, especially in a new place. Like, I'd never seen Nashville like I just want to I just want to go 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 I went with him to like this bull riding event thing going on it was just like downtown Nashville the strip in Nashville or like this place where there's a bunch of bars is called Broadway and that's where it's like bars shops food live music like all that shit and it's like one big street I didn't really know what to expect honestly in Nashville like I didn't really know but we went down there to go watch the bull riding and so we get there and I hop out of the truck and I'm like oh my god I'm an idiot I have had this tampon in since like 6 a.m when I left and got on the road it was like 4 p.m at this point and I'm like I'm gonna bleed everywhere if we don't find a tampon ASAP fucking Rocky and so you know Nashville like it's a fucking Friday night it's like still broad fucking daylight and I'm like okay I'm gonna bleed in front of all these people like I'm literally walking down the sidewalk and I'm pretty sure there's fucking blood trailing behind my ass like I'm literally like holy fuck and I'm like Caden I need to find a tampon right now Caden such a fucking gentleman like he's literally a grown-ass man walking up to these like girls being like hey this is really awkward but do you have a fucking tampon I'm asking anyone I know and of course I'm a fucking idiot and I'm asking like people who are above 60 and they're like I don't get my period anymore but like thank you for the compliment I feel young finally we meet this girl and she's like oh I have a tampon motherfucker is the size of my pinky I need like eight of those taped up to fucking hold the amount of blood that comes out of me sorry if you're a guy listening to this you're probably like ew but I'm not even kidding I don't know I'm I'm also like somewhat anemic and like have low iron and when I'm on my period I bleed so fucking much that my like literally my face turns yellow because I just don't have a lot of fucking like blood in me I guess I don't really know my period drains me the fuck out and this little pinky sized tampon wasn't gonna do shit but I'm like okay that's all I have I don't fucking care I'm literally like about to ask Kaden to fucking pick me up and carry me because I just can feel this blood dripping out of me somehow my vagina 
decided to like lock it in until I got to the bathroom. Thank you very much, kitty. Ew, ew. <laughs> but I get to the bathroom and I put this little pinky sized tampon on me and I'm like, okay, whatever. Hopefully I'm good. I was a little bit stressed though, especially too, because like if people were walking up to us and stuff like that, I'm like just worried that I'm gonna start fucking bleeding in front of these people and it's gonna be embarrassing. And so we didn't even get in to see like the bull riding. We were kind of waiting for it to start and just like dilly dallying around um, downtown. But we went back to the house and this was like my first night out. It was also Taylor's birthday. I don't know if it was his birthday this day or another day, but like he was kind of celebrating his birthday in Nashville as well. So we were going like out that night and like gonna go do stuff. All of us were. And I didn't really know what to expect, but I just kind of went, like we went back to the house. I kind of got ready, stuff like that. And then um, we were going out. And so my expectations for Nashville, like downtown party scene at night were very like country as fuck you're not gonna get into anywhere and be like dancing and throwing ass like it's gonna be very southern no no no, not at all not at all i mean i'm sure there is places where it's like that but if you don't want that you do not need to have it like there's definitely places the place that we went to like everyone i felt like i was in fsu at recess if you've ever been there if you haven't been there it's just a full-on edm club and it's like you black out or you don't enjoy it you know what i mean also i got way too dizzy before we even got there like i remember being there and we were all dancing on this elevated surface and then i was trying to step over to these other people and i literally ate fucking shit and i was like okay am i that fucking dizzy right now like are you serious anyways we're at this place it's very dark it's like i hate class being claustrophobic and like when i'm not in an area where I can step outside and I'm dizzy. Okay, I don't even give a fuck. When I'm drinking and I can't step outside, it like really sketches me out and I feel like I'm gonna like die. Not really, but when I'm fucking like drunk, I feel that way. And so we're at this place and you know, it's not bad. Like it's not bad at all, but I'm just fucking, of course, too drunk for the little corner I'm standing in. I'm like, okay, I need to chill the fuck out. And so I go to the bathroom when we're there and I don't know why, but I was in there. Like I want to say for most of the night, like I remember getting in there and I'm just sitting there and I'm like, I need like four bottles of water right now or to stick my head down this toilet. I FaceTimed my mom, I think, because I literally wanted to be like, mom, I'm so drunk. Should I throw up or am I going to be more drunk if I do that? Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know why I would FaceTime her because she probably would be like, okay, now I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. I'm worried about you. Also, I was supposed to be like meeting this kid that was in Nashville that I had like talked to online and I remember seeing him and it was so embarrassing because I literally couldn't form a sentence. Like it was like LA all over again and I was like, oh my god, what the fuck is going on? And I think I was like, the only reason I remember all of this is because most of the time when I'm out now, I have at least one friend with me that's like there with me. You know what I mean? Like if I have like Rylan or McKinley or like just someone that's there with me, I feel like I'm not as aware because I have them, but like because I was just like alone and didn't have someone that like came up there with me, like you know what I mean? I was just like very aware of what was going on. So I think that's the only reason I stayed like conscious. But anyways, we're at this place. I'm not even really sure what's going on. It's a good time. Like, I'm having a good time. I'm just trying to, like, not sketch myself out and, like, tell myself, like, you're not that drunk. It's fine. You know, like, chill out. But we wind up leaving. And when we step outside, I feel fucking great. Like, we step outside and I'm like, okay, I'm perfect now. Like, I'm not freaking out. Like, I feel fine. I think it was just the environment I was in. I just was like, I need to get out of here. So we go outside and downtown Nashville is, like, insane. Like, there's literally so many people everywhere. So much is going on. On, and it's just like a fuck fest not actually no one's fucking on like the side of the street but like it's just fucking crazy i don't know what possessed me i don't know what on god's green earth made me do this but i really 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 wanted to hit the Fortnite move stance you know the one where it's like you fucking move your fist up and down you do the little duck face and like Fortnite moves oh do it again do it again do it again i really 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 wanted to do this and i'm on my phone and for some reason i have no service and i can't find it and i'm like what the fuck there's this cutie patootie boy with us i literally we left with like only four of us i think everyone else kind of went like separate ways and so i'm with like two people this cutie patootie boy that I thought was cute. And then it's me. 
my fucking drunk ass. I go set my phone down and I'm making the Fortnite moves dance. God bless TikTok drafts because this is the reason I remember this. I go set my phone down and I'm making this Fortnite moves dance with no audio. Well, then I'm like, wait a minute. I should go up and ask every single person, probably about 15,000 motherfucking people on the sidewalk. I should go ask everyone and as many people as I can to hit the Fortnite moves dance with me. Since I can't find the audio, I'll just get everyone to do it. I get this cutie patootie little boy who I think is cute. Bless his fucking heart to film everyone. Like, I'm not even kidding. I was going up to anyone and everyone who had two damn feet and asking them to hit the fucking Fortnite moves dance with me. Like, everyone. I'm literally like, yo, go lock the yes, go lock the yes. Like, when I'm fucking dizzy, I, I don't know why my voice gets so southern. I think it's like the south of me really coming out and it's just like, okay, this is actually how I am, but I like cover it up when I'm sober. And I'm like, yay, y'all, like, can you hit this dance with me? Like, I'm literally fucking asking every one to do it. I'm glad I did because it's funny as shit. If you go on my TikTok account, I'll post some of them on was that TMI TikTok and Instagram if you guys want. But I asked like everyone and their fucking mom to do it. And it's like, that's all my TikTok drafts. Like people were like, fuck you. You didn't, you like took me out of it. And I'm like, oh no, babe, that's in a compilation of 30 other people that's still on my drafts. And so I'm asking him to film me doing all this. Then we like get down to a car in a parking garage question mark. I don't even know. We drive home. We get home to the Airbnb. (laughs) Home. We get back to like the Airbnb and I think a lot of people are there. Oh no, 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 no. Actually, I take that back. There's like three people in the kitchen. Actually, I think there's two. And so me and this cutie patootie boy walk in and you know, they're making TikToks. Well, drunk me, this is no longer Chad. This is Rhonda. Rhonda likes to clean like a motherfucker. Like when I get to the home base of somewhere, same thing goes for FSU. Like when I'm in my brother's fucking house of baseball players and it's disgusting and I'm drunk after a night out, I'm like, I'm gonna clean up your whole apartment. And I'm not talking like clean, like just like pick up trash. No, 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 no. For some reason, I want to get on my hands and knees and scrub the floor like it's the 1950s. Think fuck I didn't do it at this fucking place. But that's what I would do back at FSU at my brother's fucking apartment. Like I will literally clean like there's no nothing else that I can do. And so I guess I'm standing there cleaning up the kitchen and putting shit away, which honestly, I'm glad I have this trade because I feel like it like sobers me up a little bit, but I'm cleaning up. And then I think we like go to bed or people start coming home from other places because everyone kind of like did their own thing. Honestly, I just like laid down on the couch with like three of the other people that were there and went to bed. And oh my God, like cutie patootie little boy. So cute. Like, I had, I had a little crush that night. Like, I think I literally was, like, playing out of fair. Like, I thought this was gonna be my new phone boyfriend. Chad, go to bed. Rhonda, go to bed. I don't know why. But anyways, wake up the next morning on this couch feeling crusted, dusted. I'm looking around and I'm like, okay, where's my sanity? And I get up, go upstairs, clean myself up. Like I said, I'm, like, such a go-go-goer. Like, I wake up, get a cup of water, take a sip, and, like, get fucking ready for the day. And I'm like, let's go. And people are like, where? And I'm like, to the liquor store. No, I'm kidding, but I'm not. Anyways, this night, or this day, it was going to be my birthday at midnight. So I'm just like counting down the fucking hours as to when it's appropriate to crack one open. That's like all that's on my mind. Merch launches that night. It's my birthday. And I'm kind of literally just sitting there like itching all day for it to like be nighttime. Like I just want the moon to come out. Um, And I think during the day, like we didn't really do much. We like went and got food. Some of us went to the mall. Everyone's so nice. I'm also the only girl in this house. That's because, like I said, I don't really have a lot of friends, but no one like really judged me for it. Like everyone was just kind of cool and like super nice and I love when you can just kind of be in a group and feel like you fit in and no one's like questioning shit and that's how it was so very grateful for all these people but went and hung out during the day um they entered Chad Chad's like trying to crawl through my lungs and come out so I um I crack one open at a good whopping like 4 p.m maybe three maybe two no it was like four and I'm just getting ready for the night and I have no idea what's gonna even go on this night but I'm just like it doesn't matter because I will be somewhere Chad will be somewhere and everyone else is kind of getting ready and I don't really know where we're going oh actually everyone was going to like see Carrie Underwood and some of some people weren't going to do that and so few of us a selected few of us stayed at the house and then the rest went to go see Carrie Underwood and then everyone came back and I think we all like just went down to Broadway again because it's like literally we're in Nashville. We might as well just fucking go there. You know what I mean? And so we went down to Broadway and everyone has to go in like separate fucking cars because there's like a selected few Ubers or whatever. Um, I'm in the back of this Uber 
and we get on Broadway where you can like look out and see like nightlife and I'm seeing a good four trees of good four trees it's one but I'm seeing four and then I would see like a dilf and it's not just one dilf it's four dilfs and they all look the exact same and that's because I am absolutely way too dizzy once again great fucking job Sadie at keeping your cool okay to be fair it was my birthday so I didn't really care we also left and I had the bottle of let's call it Tato's in my hand and am literally chugging it on my snapchat story public like what the fuck I don't know why I'm just so out there recently but I really just there's no there's no fucks given and so yeah I'm seeing a good whopping four people and I'm like I need to get out of this fucking car and so we stop in the traffic and I think I'm just like, let's get out. Let's get out. Come on, let's go. And we get out um, and we're walking. I had the urge to pull everyone to the side and throw up behind a building. And I'm like, okay, fucking keep it together. Keep walking, keep walking. We ran into um, Kristen and them because they were all in Nashville. They like do TikTok and stuff. I'm sure everyone knows who they are, but if you don't, they do TikTok, ran into them. They're like, you are fucking hammered. And I'm like, please don't paranoid me any more than I already am. And then a few people were like going into places and long story short, just a few of us didn't. And so I wind up in like a cookie shop. I don't even know. And then I wind up outside of a cookie shop and I'm talking to a man who's rolling his hairy ass belly and showing me. And then I'm in a co- full on conversation with a homeless man about life. And then I'm in a conversation with a girl who's telling me how she's like 33, but everyone thinks she's 20 and like her daughter's actually 17. I literally couldn't fucking tell you. I have no idea. And I'm just like, okay, what? So then like three of us get in an Uber to go home. We go back to the Airbnb. Well, no one's there because everyone's out. When I'm that dizzy and I get home or back to like wherever we're going and it's like silent and no one's there and everyone like takes a seat down, I'm like, okay, um, this whole room is spinning at 50 miles an hour and I can't deal with that right now. So I decide to walk my little happy ass upstairs and pass out on the bathroom floor. (laughs) I'm not even kidding. Literally, I don't know how I managed to do it. I'm actually like fist bumped to myself, made a pallet on the floor in the bathroom and like got a pillow and everything. I actually think I was in every bathroom, but I wound up on the top floor in the bathroom. And I remember my brother just facetiming me, like my older brother. And I'm like, dude, I'm, I've been dry heaving in this toilet for the past like 30 minutes. And he's like, damn, like, sounds like a great night. I'm sorry, but happy birthday. Funny story, actually. I used to be so absolutely terrified of throwing up. Like I never thought I would ever be the person who could just like fucking gag myself and puke like I was the person in eighth grade who everyone would like drink and be like experimenting with drinking but I wouldn't drink because I was so scared that it was gonna make me throw up I just like I would get very anxious about throwing up and uh, I was like that when I was little too kind of then one night I drank tequila. This was in like 11th grade, I want to say. We had a Marg night. I was drinking tequila and like didn't mind it at all. Well, that night projectile vomited my absolute brains out. Like literally fucking couldn't make it to the bathroom, puked. And I was like fucked up, but I wasn't like sloshed to the point of like blacked out. Like I just got so sick. I've never drank tequila again because there's a few people in my family who can drink tequila and who can't. And I'm think I'm part of the selected few that can't. But ever since that night, I like haven't been scared of puke anymore. Like I can be sober and like go behind a gas station literally two weekends ago. Like I can be sober and go behind a gas station in the morning after and fucking throw up and be like, all right, let's hit the road. So I'm not scared of throwing up anymore, but this night was awful because I was not throwing up. I was dry heat and that's never happened and I realized I needed to like get my shit together when that was going on because I was like okay this is literally happening because my stomach has absorbed all of the tatos and there's nothing inside of me and that's not good but I was like just literally like and like my stomach was just getting so tight and then I passed out outside (laughs) I thought I fell asleep on the bathroom floor but I guess I fell asleep outside and then I woke up And one of the boys was like, like, they were all back. And one of them was like, you're not sleeping outside. Like, what the fuck? And I was like, okay, like, sorry. I don't know what the fuck happened. Walk inside, go downstairs. I'm obviously still plastered because I fucking passed out outside. And it was still, like, 4 a.m. And I'm just hearing, like, yeah, KB's in jail. One of the boys boys was, like, in jail. And I'm like, oh, 
all right I'm going to fall asleep on the couch now. Fell asleep again. Then I wake up and I actually was awoken by KB being like, I'm out. And I'm like, yeah, what the fuck? Was I having a nightmare that you like got arrested or did you really? And apparently like got in a fight. I don't even fucking know. I'm not even going to go there because I don't want to say anything wrong. But yeah, that was how my night to my birthday night went. And so I'm kind of sitting there the next day and I had like had went to bed early because I blacked the fuck out. Um, And you know, I had like a good eight, nine hours asleep and so when I woke up everyone's still asleep and like going to bed and I'm like hmm should I just go home or like go to Athens because I like kind of want to I don't know please go comment on the was that TMI Instagram what word I'm thinking about it's the word like when you want to make up for what you did like you need a revive the night before or like redo I needed a redo I don't fucking know whatever the word is I was like there's no way that that's gonna be my birthday night like in the night that I remember was me like fucking passing out on a bathroom floor and then waking up outside like that's not a, <laughs> I mean it's kind of okay but it's not okay and so I was like I want like another fun night I need it and so I'm debating on going to Athens and spending the night with my friends that go to school there because I just knew like I knew something was going to go down there. And the girl, Kristen, who I ran into the other night and, like, her friends, they were like, no, like, definitely stay. Stay with us. Go out with us. Like, it would be so fun. Like, you should definitely stay. Like, don't leave on your birthday. Come. Like, you're in Nashville. Like, you got to live it out. And I'm like, okay, you know what? They're right. Like, I'm all the way fucking up here. I might as well stay and go out and get rowdy and have a good time. I need to. It sounds really bad, but I kind of just wanted, like, the days to not even be there and for it to just be nighttime. And not saying this in a bad way, but the thing was, like, everyone was kind of sleeping sleeping all day because it was like just like the nighttime was kind of getting crazy and so everyone was literally sleeping all day like I said I'm a very like active person I want to go out and be doing something and like never really stop and so when everyone's just like sleeping all day and chilling I'm like itching and I'm like okay I kind of want to like get in my car and leave or should I stay and wait it out until the nighttime anyways nothing really happened during the daytime so fast forward to nighttime everyone's like getting ready to go to dinner and oh they were actually so sweet because they all were like Sadie we can go out to dinner like for your birthday if you want I'm just not that type of gal you know like I wish that I could be the girl that's like cute and pretty and like had like a little birthday outfit planned and got all dressed up and went and like ate dinner but that just doesn't sound fun to me like that's just I'm not that type of girl like I said I wish that I could be but I'm really not like I don't think I ever in my life again would want to have a b-day dinner like, literally ever. Like, I just want everyone to be out and having a blast and, like, going hard. But that could just be me being immature. Who knows? But they were all sweet and they were all like, we're gonna go to dinner. Like, you come. We could, like, have a little B-day dinner for you or whatever. And it was, like, getting closer to, like, nighttime when, like, people would go out. So, I was like, you guys go eat whatever. Thank you. I'm gonna stay and I'm gonna go over and meet Kristen and them and, like, go out with them. Like, a few of them went to dinner. I stayed at the house literally getting ready by myself. <laughs> rip <laughs> no i'm just kidding i really don't give a fuck i stayed like there i got ready and was like you know having a few nooners letting the clock go by and i was on facetime with rylan because rylan was getting ready to go out so we were like low-key with each other but not just like you know getting ready whatever and so then i facetimed the girls and they're like come over to the airbnb by the time i had like gotten ready and like was just kind of waiting around to like go over to see kristen and them the guys had gone back also one of them was cutie patootie from the night before he's so adorable holy shit I wish I could say who it was but I'm not going to they were like we'll go with you to Kristen's and I'm like okay cool so a few of us went over there and we're getting ready like they were getting ready to go out and I literally love them they're so cute they like were making sure that I was gonna have a good time and like me and Kristen are like taking shots and stuff and it's so weird because I've been trying to figure out recently what gets me so dead and it's 1000% the Tato's if I'm like pounding some nooners I'm fine but the second the Tato's gets brought out oh goodbye chad hello Rhonda. literally i don't know what it does to me but it's just it shouldn't be allowed anymore and i tried this night i literally told myself like i'm not gonna go near the tatos because i want to remember tonight well yep that didn't happen because they had a bottle that they didn't know where it came from and so i'm having some tato shots all of a sudden the boys are like yep sadie's hammered and i'm like yep you are right i make this face apparently like apparently i like bite my lip but like i like smirk and like hold try and hold my smile in, and they're like that's when you know that's when you know i'm there i'm chad's really out and so we go down to broadway and i'm like look literally nashville like there's always so much going on i'm completely fine with just walking around the streets and like doing whatever kristen and them are old enough to like go into places so they're like doing that i'm once again hitting the fortnite motherfucking moves dance with everyone well then 
what was that burp? Um, I see this guy holding a bird and I'm like, hey, can you be in my TikTok and go like this? And he's like on the phone. And he's like, what? And he winds up just putting the bird on my hand. I'm literally holding a fucking massive ass like blue and yellow parrot. Like what the fuck? And I'm literally like, what is going on? I'm drunk as shit. All the videos, you can just tell lights on no one's home. I'm holding a fucking bird. I think I was like, yo, can it stand on my head? And he's like, it's gonna fuck up your hair and probably tear your scalp, but like, if you want. Well, then I'm eating a hot dog. Honestly, this night, like, nothing really happened except I met these two fans that were so funny because we were all really mad at this, like, one guy, like, staff member who worked somewhere who was being a fucking asshole to all of us. And it was so funny because we were, like, literally rebelling against this guy. And I, like, met them through that. And they, like, knew who I was, so it was, like, funny and cute. Anyways, girls, if you're listening, loved y'all. But that was really it, like, for that night. I got a hot dog, and then the two boys that had came with me, us three, like, went home. And then I luckily was, like, it felt really good to not be too trash to, like, go to bed and remember it. And that's exactly what I did, kind of. Then seeing where I slept. Oh, you know what? I take the back. I slept in my clothes. <laughs> I slept in my outfit. Holy shit. I'm looking at pictures right now. I'll post <laughs> I'll post a picture. Also, my birthday night, I had no clothes left. I literally wore the same shirt that I had worn the night before. I'm such a fucking loser. Holy shit. Oh my god. Yeah, I never mind. I take that back. I slept in my outfit this night. Ow. I remember waking up because I had slept in a belt. I remember waking up and it hurting so bad. I was like, why the fuck did I sleep in jeans? I really hope I didn't sleep with my shoes on. Jesus. <laughs> it's so funny. I was like, yeah, I loved going to bed knowing where I was. Yep. Nope. Not the case. Woke up the next morning. <laughs> literally after these three nights i was like my sanity is out the window i like to get rowdy and stuff but when it's three nights in a row it's just like trashed after that like i feel like people think i'm like a fucking like because when i'm with them like they're like what do you want to do tonight and i'm like um drink but it's like i literally finished like the podcast the youtube i uploaded two youtube videos before i left i had gotten the merch designs done like i had worked my ass off the week before and got everything done to where when it was weekend time i was like i have no worries in the world all i want to do is have a grand old time you know what i mean grand old opry nashville hashtag that rhymed no it didn't what damn i talk so fast i need to chill out with the caffeine right now i'm actually parked under a bank so because it rains so much in fucking florida and it's gonna rain the next like week you're definitely gonna see some depression posts and i'm parked under a bank so you can't hear the rain in my car but that was my weekend in nashville this morning i had gotten in my car and left and it's actually oh my god i wrote a fucking song on the way home what did nashville do to me who in the hannah montana do i think i am being around nashville and like all these kids that sing i'm not even kidding i think i'm gonna like release an album randomly just like one day completely surprise y'all's asses and just be like hey guys by the way album releases i have this sick idea for an album and i'm only gonna tell you was that tia myers no one's done this and i think it's a grand idea but i need to hop on it now if i say it release an album of like eight songs randomly like i'm not at all gonna try and turn into a singer just like randomly do it for fun and every song's like an absolutely completely different genre how fucking funny would that be like imagine you're on one song and i'm just fucking absolutely like dolly partoning it and then you go to the next one and i'm like just breaking y'all's hearts on some olivia rodrigo shit and then we switch it up and i'm literally amy winehouse on drugs like you know what i mean eight different completely fucking different songs i think it'd be fit does anyone watch love island i know the uk slang anyway shout out all the boys i had a really good weekend everyone was so nice shout out uh kristen and the girls for bringing me out on my birthday because no one else wanted to go out and i would have been absolutely lonely so i appreciate it and shout out to all of you for the birthday wishes and i wouldn't be able to do these things without you guys it's actually so so cool and sometimes i sit back and i feel like a loser because when the party is over I am in fact alone when I left that morning from Nashville they were like so where are you going and I was like I don't know I gotta I really don't know it's kind of just like me and my car Tom I mean of course I have my family back at home but I mean really my family's all that really fucking matters because they're just they're everything to me like I will literally live with them until I die I don't want to ever move away from them like I go and I hop group to group and like people always say I kind of look like a fucking homie hopper and like a whore because I'm always with like different groups of guys and like I'm also I hang out with girls I don't know why it's such a big deal sorry I've just been getting a lot of that recently of people being like you literally only hang out with guys you fucking like cocksucker and I'm like okay really but I do sometimes feel like people are like why the fuck is she with different people all the time and sometimes I even get in my head about it and I'm like dude I'm a fucking loser like I don't have one person that's in my life consistently 
but it's because I literally like envy alone time like I don't think I could have someone with me 24 7 I don't think I could like I think I love being in the car so much and driving places all the time because I like being alone you guys make me feel okay for that because like doing this podcast alone or even when I'm in YouTube videos and I'm not with a bunch of people and you guys are entertained by it and like it and you guys say it like makes you feel comforted you guys help me feel that way when I ever get like torn apart about like am I a fucking loser and like does no one want to be my friend you know what I mean also gonna clear the air on one more thing I am single and I do not fuck like that I've gotten fucking heat from people being like this bitch is disgusting and is with a new guy every five seconds which like (laughs) true but guys I really don't fuck I swear my life like I don't hook up I find no enjoyment like I have no sex drive I'm not horny I'm really not kind of wish that would change because it's a little bit concerning seeing that I'm 19 and am not horny. It just does not interest me to like hop on a dick. It really doesn't. Oh my god, that was disgusting. Mom, I'm sorry. It just doesn't. Like, I'm just not like that. Do I like to flirt with guys and then just act on it with nothing and they're like, what the shit? Yeah, I do. And that's called being a toxic bitch. That's my entertainment. That's so mean. No, it's so weird though because... I think deep down, I'm just a hopeless romantic. I don't want a boyfriend right now because I know that whoever I find is not going to be my husband. I just know that I'm not going to find my husband right now. I also just don't like to, like, fuck around, hook up with people. Like, if I'm not somewhat dating someone or talking to them for, like, a while, I won't hook up with them. I won't do it. God, maybe I need to get dick down. (laughs) I'm kidding. (laughs) But honestly, like... I'm so boy deprived right now. It's kind of sad. Like, I just want to be in the passenger seat of a truck. No, I don't. I'm fine. The phone boyfriends, guys. Like, all I have recently and, like, for the past, honestly, like, five months have been phone boyfriends. Oh my god. I just did that. (laughs) I scared the shit out of myself. Fuck. I'm honestly, guys, I'm gonna put out an application for, like, a wintertime. Not boyfriend. I want an open relationship. But, like, it's so weird. There's so many guys that, like, I love honestly I'm gonna go to my best friend who lives um in Destin he's like an hour from me literally neither of us could date each other we see each other like brother and sister absolutely I could never do anything more than kiss him like peck him as a joke like ever we have made out a few times so I take that back but I could never like do anything with him but I know that if I'm like feeling lonely one night like I can go to his house and like he'll be my fake boyfriend for the night you know what I mean and like why I need that sometimes I don't know but I have a really like I really want one of those this winter so I think I'm gonna put out applications for like a open relationship um winter boyfriend but I just want to lay down with him and for him to hold me and for him to be really hot actually I'll hook up with him I take that back it just depends Jesus what am I saying I don't even fucking know okay the episode needs to end I'm going delusional Guys, thank you so much for listening, though, and thank you for all the birthday wishes. Thank you for everything I have, and I had a really, really good birthday. Thank you to all the boys that I was with, the girls that I hung out with. Everyone was super sweet. I have no bad blood with anyone, and that's that's all I'm going to say. I had a really good weekend, and I'm back home with the family, and I actually miss them so much, guys. Like, family's everything, and if you have a good like family and like get along with your siblings or things like that be so grateful for it because it's awesome and it does come with time because me and my older brother used to actually hate each other's guts like hated each other and we've gotten closer as we've gotten older but just know like appreciate little things like that because oh they're just like I can always call them home and I love it so much and you guys too like literally sometimes when I feel lonely I'm like I have like a whopping number what's up with me in the whopping word I have a great old number of fans who just they love me and they they're my friends and at the end of the day you guys are always there for me and I love you guys for it so thank you anyways guys that was was that TMI with Sadie Carl where I tell the truth the whole truth and nothing but the fucking truth thank you so much for listening go follow the Instagram go follow the TikTok go sub to the YouTube and never forget go cop some merch from sadiecrawl.com love you guys so much god bless you and have a grand old day